Hello, CHS students and families. I hope this message finds you and your loved ones safe and well. Over the course of my 15-year career as an educator in the public school system, I've seen a number of things impact the lives of students and communities, but nothing like what we're experiencing now. This is certainly an unprecedented time, but one that we will work through together. You have an amazing group of educators at Claremont High School committed to supporting students and families every step of the way. Your teachers, counselors, office staff, and admin team have been working hard to prepare for our official launch of distance learning on Monday, April 27th. In order to ensure that we are all as prepared as possible, I want to share a few important details about our plan for students and their education during distance learning. Please note that this presentation has also been posted on our CHS website for you to review at your convenience. Before I discuss our distance learning plan, I want to acknowledge that the COVID-19 pandemic is impacting us all in a variety of ways. Students and families are adjusting to a new normal with many new challenges. We're having to alter living situations and daily schedules. I myself am adjusting to how I balance being a present and attentive husband and father, supporting the homeschooling of my own children while still providing a high level of support and direction to the students, staff, and families of Claremont High School. I bring this up to remind you to be patient with yourself. In a time where so many things are outside our control, let's work to focus on those things within our sphere of influence. While it certainly is easier said than done, let's stay positive and support one another. We are all learners in this experience, so let's embark on this journey with a positive attitude and an open mind as we learn, share, and grow with one another each and every day. While there are many questions still to be answered, my hope is that by the end of this presentation, you will have clarity on the following. What is distance learning? How will students access classes? How will students connect with teachers? What is expected of students? What will a typical workload look like? And how will students be graded? What is distance learning? In response to the COVID-19 global health crisis, San Diego Unified School District has developed a distance learning plan so our students can continue learning while our school sites are closed. This plan represents our commitment to ensure each and every student continues to learn and achieve. This plan is founded on the following principles. One, supporting our educators as they transition to distance learning. Two, providing access for all students and three, maintaining teaching and learning. Starting on Monday, April 27th through Tuesday, June 9th, students will complete all coursework online through a variety of different learning platforms under the guidance and direction of their teachers. One common misconception about distance learning is that students are expected to be in front of a computer the entire day. This is simply not the case. Like most online learning, our distance learning plan will include a combination of synchronous and asynchronous learning. During the synchronous period of learning, students will utilize communication tools to receive live instruction from their teachers. This may include video conferencing or live stream videos through district approved communication tools. These synchronous learning times will be coordinated in advance and adhere to a specific schedule to ensure that students aren't required to be in two meetings at once. The majority of student learning will be asynchronous. This will allow students to work at their own pace and during times that are convenient for them and their family schedule. During asynchronous instruction, students may be reviewing videos, reading articles, accessing blog posts, and much more. All of this will be clearly communicated to students by their teachers at the start of distance learning. Both types of learning will require students to exhibit a high level of organizational skills and self-discipline. Students will also need to proactively communicate with their teachers about assignments, assessments, and any questions they may have about the course. How will students access classes? Teachers at Claremont High School have selected from a handful of online learning platforms to provide access to content and instruction during distance learning. The district has provided staff with training on each of the platforms shown here. While these platforms may be new to some students and teachers, many courses at Claremont already utilize these platforms in some way. This means that some students and staff are already familiar with how the platforms work. For those that are brand new to any and or all of the platforms shown here, there is no need to worry. Teachers will be supporting students every step of the way in understanding how to access content, log in for instruction, submit assignments, and take assessments. In order to help students and families access and organize their learning experience, Claremont High School has created our CHS online learning platform. This website was emailed out to families along with this presentation. It can also be found on our school's website. 
The site was designed to help students and families stay organized during distance learning. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the CHS Online Learning Platform. First, I want to be clear that this CHS Online Learning Platform is not where students will access instruction or complete and submit work. This site is meant to provide students and families with resources, supports, and a one-stop shop for how to connect with all of their teachers and courses. So let's look at the homepage. The homepage is designed to provide families with up-to-date information. It contains links to all emails sent from CHS, as well as San Diego Unified and Superintendent Cindy Martin. On the homepage, you can also find a link to our Frequently Asked Questions document. This document will be updated often, so please be sure to look it over at your convenience. If you do not find an answer to your specific question, please email me and I will be happy to get you the information you need. My email can be found at the top of our FAQ document as well as on our school's website. The next page I'd like to share with you is the Student Resources page. This page can be found in the menu at the top of the screen. The Student Resources page has links to various tools that students can access during distance learning to help keep them organized. This includes our site's weekly Zoom meeting schedule, the weekly Zoom meeting schedule for Mesa College, weekly planners, organizational apps, and much more. Finally, one of the most important functions of the CHS online learning platform is the ability to connect students and families with courses and teachers. The menu at the top of the site provides students and families the ability to search for their classes by department. For example, if I'm a student in the IT Academy in Coach Scotty's third period game design class, I can access his online learning platform for this course by hovering over the CCTE department link and selecting Scotty Lee from the drop-down menu. After clicking on the link that says Scotty Lee, I will be taken to his specific teacher page. From this page, I can find either a link or information on how to sign up for the game design class that I'm taking with Coach Scotty. Students will need to do this for all classes in which they are currently enrolled. Along with all of the departments, students can access their case manager and counselors from the home page by using the menu at the top of the screen. How will students connect with teachers? In addition to providing a safe place for learning, Teachers at Claremont High School can, with proper restrictions in place, use tools such as Zoom and Google Meet to connect with individual students, small groups of students for differentiated instruction, or whole class meetings. These tools have features where the teacher can record the sessions for students who are unable to attend. We encourage the use of these tools as they help connect the teacher to the students and provide students comfort in knowing their teachers are there to support them. Teachers will share with students if they plan to utilize one of the following communication tools during the first week of distance learning. To ensure that students are able to attend all whole class Zoom or Google Meet meetings and prevent conflicting meetings from being scheduled, CHS has developed the weekly Zoom Google Meet meeting schedule shown here. Teachers may choose to use these times to hold whole class meetings, offer optional office hours, or schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with students. This schedule can be found on the Student Resources page of our CHS Online Learning Platform. One of the most important things to successful completion of distance learning is staying connected and understanding expectations. Students are expected to check their email and online learning platforms daily and should reach out to their teachers with any questions, comments, or concerns. Since this may be new for students, we are asking that parents help support students in developing this habit. It may also be appropriate to share these questions on the online learning platform in either a discussion forum or an assignment. What is expected of students during distance learning? Distance learning will certainly be a shift in terms of how students access their education, so be patient with yourself and the process. There will be bumps along the road, but don't get discouraged. The key is communication and organization. In terms of academic expectations, students should Identify a distraction-free workspace. In some cases, this may be easier said than done, but having an identified place where distractions are limited is key to being able to focus and engage in online learning. Check email and online learning platforms daily. Staying informed of what is expected, what is due, and when it is due is crucial to your online learning success. Get in the habit of checking these two sources of information daily. Complete the required assignments by the posted due date. Be sure you're clear when assignments are due and schedule time each day to work on them. Utilize the planners on our Students' Resources page 
to help you plan out what is due and how and when you plan to complete it. Communicate with teachers about assignments. Be proactive in your communication. Reach out to your teachers and classmates at the first sign of confusion. Remember, your teachers don't know how to support you if they don't know that you're struggling in the first place. Complete assignments on time. Attendance will be based on the work you turn in, so be sure to stay on top of assignments and due dates. In terms of behavioral expectations, CHS understands that distance learning is an adjustment. However, the expectations we have for students in terms of scholarly behavior, character, and integrity haven't changed. During distance learning, CHS expects the following. Zoom and Google Meet and online learning platforms are virtual classrooms. Appropriate behavior is expected. Appropriate dress, language, and etiquette during Zoom and Google Meet meetings are expected at all times. The rules in our parent-student handbook still apply. The chat box and online forums are public and a record of conversations in both are kept and archived. Students are to use respectful and appropriate language and are only to discuss the lesson topic. Parents will be notified if students exhibit inappropriate behavior and consequences will be enforced. Students are expected to exhibit maturity during distance learning and respect the rights of their teachers and fellow students to participate in a distraction-free learning environment. Behavior that detracts from either the teacher's ability to teach or student's ability to learn will not be tolerated. What will a typical workload look like during distance learning? While workload may vary from class to class and subject to subject, students should expect two to three assignments a week in each course. Students who are having trouble with specific assignments or the workload in general should reach out to their teachers as soon as possible. How will students be graded? On Tuesday, April 14th, the San Diego Unified Board of Education approved an administrative regulation outlining a policy for grading during distance learning. The entire policy can be viewed and downloaded either on our Frequently Asked Questions page or on the Board of Education's website. A few of the most important points about this policy are as follows. First, during distance learning, all students will be held harmless and will not receive a lesser grade than their grade prior to the first date of the long-term school closure. Second, work done during distance learning can only improve students' academic and citizenship grades. Third, Educators may offer opportunities to make up work prior to the school closure, so be sure to speak with your teachers about this opportunity. And finally, students who earn either a D or an F due to access issues or non-participation can be issued an in-progress grade or no grade at the teacher's discretion. Teachers will be reviewing their grading policy with students during the official launch of distance learning. Finally, while there are still many things to be worked out, I am confident that the students, staff, and families of Claremont High School will continue to be leaders in our district. Be patient with the process, but persistent in your pursuit of academic excellence. Support and encourage one another. Stay positive and stay connected. And please know that the entire Claremont High School staff are here to support you every step of the way.